Welcome to lowbudgetphotography.com My name is Martin and I'm gonna show you today how how from an ordinary photo taken with your compact camera a JPEG not raw file do a great great picture I mean much better than it was obviously so let's start first open the picture right click open with Adobe Photoshop Lightroom now when it's here clicked import the file click it again and click develop now if you want to make a little bit a bigger screen you can click here so now it's a bit bigger so I shot the picture at ISO 80 shutter speed uh, one from 500 and f aperture size 8 8 8 7 <laughs> yeah it is a nice looking picture but we now going to put a little bit of more color in it so i saw it when i took it a little bit warmer so we going to adjust the temperature here yeah about 20 about 12 12 looks okay and the tint about 5 yeah that is okay now uh, first things is you do the highlights down shadows up full up then you click the alt key and the white sliders you adjust the whites you go right when you see one white or red dot you stop that's enough and then you adjust the black black color you can go a little bit further than the whites let's say about minus 60 minus 60 now the clarity clarity put it about 50 yeah now the picture is much much clearer a little bit of vibrance maybe 20 21 and just a little bit saturation about 10 you see how the color comes back into the picture see before and after this is the original and this is the uh, after a few clicks after <laughs> you see it is already very very nice looking and it is a jpeg file it is not a raw file so let's get back let's do just a little bit more adjustments yeah, let's go to the details let's sharpen the picture a little bit more around 80 okay yeah, this this is good looking but when you sharp the picture then you got much noise noise here so we're going to mask it mask it a little bit with noise reduction let's put it around 20 okay and then you have this slider masking uh, hold down the alt key and uh, slide it to the right until you see no uh, the sky must be clear like this okay and now when you look at the sky it has much much less dots uh, less noise and it looks better next thing lens correction enable profile collection corrections remove chromatic aberrations yeah looks good now the post crop vignetting every photo looks good with a little bit of post crop vignetting yeah uh, so that, that you focus on the center of the picture more when when you have a little bit of uh, post crop vignetting but now uh, you see our picture is become a bit darker and we want we don't want that it be so dark so adjust just the exposure yeah about yeah, 36 too much 24 yeah that's right and the last thing to do on this particular photo is the graduated filter this is just the basics you hold your left click on your mouse and slide it down wherever you see the sky so let's say up to here and you can adjust the exposure but it looks fine on 0.97 it 
looks good very good so that's it that's our uh, finished JPEG file from our ordinary low budget camera that was really really cheap uh, under $99 <laughs> so you see here the before and after let's do it a little bit bigger yeah it looks fine with just a few adjustments so the next thing you will do is to export the file so click on export you can specify your folder where you want to put it and the file name I will name it first tutorial is ok export you see here the export file when it's finished the slider is going to go up yeah test completed now go to the folder and see this is the original the adjustment in just a few minutes we adjusted this photo colorless to this this beautiful looking picture and I repeat it is just a JPEG file and yeah you can every your photo looks great thanks you thank you much for watching uh, visit my homepage you can download every picture I put in my tutorials save the pictures you don't need to download it it is all on lowbudgetphotography.com thanks again for watching and bye